Hi, this is Karanda with Metal Toad Media, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom layout for a panels page. There's a lot of layouts that are available with panels, but sometimes you need something a little bit different, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's actually a really good walkthrough on how to do this on the Drupal.org page, which I will link to, but for people who are a little bit more visual and like to follow along, I'm just going to go through and show you how it's done. Here are the steps we'll be going through in this video. First, you want to install panels, of course. And next, you want to make sure you have the Chaos Tools Page Manager enabled. Third, we're going to copy a folder from the panels layouts and give us a, an example to work from. Fourth, we're going to change the names of all the files and functions to customize to our needs. And fifth, we're going to update the style sheet Sixth, we're going to update the preview image that shows what your actual layout will look like. And the last thing you do is clear the cache, and then your layout should show up in the panels page. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is install panels, which you can find here at drupal.org slash project slash panels. And the other thing that you need to do is make sure that the Chaos Tools page manager is enabled. So I'm going to go over here. I've got a fresh Drupal site install. And we're going to go to the modules page. And I'm just going to look for the page manager and turn that on and go ahead and save. All right. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is copy the layout folder from the panels module. So we're going to find that in your Drupal root slash sites all slash modules and it might be in the contrib folder or it might be just in the modules folder depending on your setup. Let's go ahead and open that in the finder and inside the plugins folder we want to grab this layout folder. And let's just take a look at uh, the end goal. So here's a, an image of the layout that we're going to go for. We're going to call it two column four row. So here's the end. And there's actually a similar panels layout called two column stacked. And that's the one we're going to copy. And we're going to copy that into our theme folder. So open that up. And so we just drag that two column stack to um, make sure you copy it and not move it. We'll just move that over. And then we'll want to put that inside the layouts folder. So I make a folder that says layouts, and we'll just drag that right into it. Okay, so now we just want to rename everything to reflect our custom theme name. So we're calling it two column four row. So we start with the folder. And then go in and just rename all these files as well. You we have uh, the TPL file, we have the, uh, the image file, the CSS file, the ink file. And for that TPL file, 
you actually don't want panels to be in the name, so just change that to two column four row dot tpl dot php. And we do the same for the rest of the files. Okay, so now let's go over to our code editor. And the first thing that we're going to do is go into the theme folder and we need to change the theme info file. And that's so you can tell panels where to find all this uh, custom layout goodness that you're creating. So we're going to go in there, and I'm actually just copying and pasting right from uh, the Drupal.org page. And you can see that's just telling panels where it can find our layout. All right, so now let's get into some code. So I'm going to start with the the ink file, and we're just going to do pretty much the same thing we did with the folders. I'm going to change all the names to reflect our custom theme. So the title will be changed to two column four row. And now we'll change this to the image name for our preview. And so on and so forth. Pretty, pretty straightforward, but it's important to you make sure that you get all the names correct. Okay, so for regions, um, let's go ahead and look at the image again. So we have a top region, and that's going to stay the same. Now for the center region, uh, we're actually going to add two more sections than the two column stacked uh, layout has. So I'm going to rename those and call them middle top left, middle top right, middle bottom left, and middle bottom right. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste uh, two new lines there and uh, change all those. Okay, so I've spared you all my bad typing. And so now we have our regions. We have the top, and we have the four center sections. And then we have the bottom, which I just have left as is. And the last thing is um, in the theme section, we just need to take panels out of that name. It should just be the name of the TPL file. So those should match up. All right, so the next thing is, let's go ahead and uh, replace the icon so that our image reflects what our layout will actually look like. And we'll just delete this PNG and replace it with our new one. All right, the next thing that we want to work on is the layout. So you want to open up your TPL file. And the top is pretty much the same, so we'll just leave that as is. And the way this will print out is by using the variables here. So for example, the content top, or in this case, content middle top left. So we're just going to add those sections in. 
So I'm just going to space out the center section so you can see better. We have that center wrapper, and inside that we have the first and second column. So I'm just going to add two more. And then I'm just going to go through and change these class names to reflect the new sections. So I have a middle top left, middle top right, and middle bottom left, middle bottom right. So then you want to change those print statements, and I'm just going to copy and paste from the originals. And I'm just going to do that for all four of those. And the top and the bottom divs can stay exactly the same. So we're going to save that file. And the last thing is I just added a common class to the center section called middle column. And that's just so I can target those all at once if I don't need to differentiate. All right, so the last thing that we need to do is edit the CSS file. We don't need that. And I'm just going to change this around so that we can uh, see both our CSS file and our TPL file at the same time. All right, so in our original uh, file, we have changed this class to two column four row. So I'm just going to copy that. And now everything that says two columns stacked in our CSS file, we will change to the new class. So I'm just going to do a, a find and replace on all of those to save time. Great. Alright, so next we have our top section, and that can pretty much stay the same. We have our column first, and that is floated left with a width of 50%. Um, and we're just going to change these middle sections now to reflect our new sections. So because we have uh, four sections now, I'm just going to change that class to middle top left. And I'm just going to copy that and paste it again. And We'll change the second one to the bottom. So the on the left side, for both the top and the bottom, we will float those left. And then the right side will just uh, come up to sit next to it. Now we'll target all four of those center sections with that middle column class that I added. We'll just make the width just a little bit less than 50% just to make sure that those uh, will fit in and that they'll float properly. And then there's also an inside div and that's just used to give a little bit of uh, padding and space to the actual content that you place in there. Now we'll replace this last column and we will target the right side middle sections. So you can see there's a lot of uh, really just copy and paste in this process and it's really just a matter of making sure um, that you're kind of meticulous and uh, 
think about how your sections go together um, and just adjust uh, for your own needs. All right, so we've targeted the right section and uh, given those float as well. And also just given that little bit of space to the inside um, so that our content isn't uh, brushing right up against other content. All right, so now the moment of truth. We're going to go over back to our site and we're going to clear the cache. And when we go to panels page, and oh, something's wrong here. Our, it's picking up our new layout, but something is wrong with the image. So I'm just going to go make sure that I type that name correctly. So I copy and paste it from the image, and just go back and paste that in here. Alright, so let's go and refresh. And... Alright, now it's picking up our image correctly. Great. We'll save that. And so now, if you want to create a new panels page, and you can just fill all this out uh, with whatever you need. This can be any page. We're just going to make sure that this is showing up properly. Give it a menu item, and that's really all we need. I'm so creative with these titles. And then we need to go to two column layouts. And there is our two column four row. Just a little bit more filler to do here before we can make sure everything worked correctly. All right, and there you have it. So here is our new layout, and there's our top section, our four middle sections, and the bottom section. And now you can treat this like any built-in panels page and uh, just add content as you normally would. So thanks for following along with me, and I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments here or on the blog post, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks again, and this is Karanda with Metal Toad, and I'll see you next time.